I'm Thomas Summers, founder and CEO of Rex Computing, and I lead architectural development and general business management. So Rex Computing is developing the uh, Neo Processor architecture, so a new instruction set, core design, and uh, chip implementing those cores that is uh, aiming at a 10x energy efficiency improvement over the current state of the art, specifically for the high performance computing and the high end signal processing uh, domains. So being a small startup, uh, we only have five engineers to actually accomplish these uh, you know, huge goals. And so uh, first and foremost, being able to take a design from um, initial RTL to GDS2 in just over six months uh, is a huge accomplishment. Uh, but then being able to actually attain a 10x energy efficiency advantage um, compared to the big guys with much larger teams, a lot more resources um, is usually thought to be impossible. Uh, couple that with, we have a very short time window to actually be able to bring our product out before we uh, run out of those resources, but also since you know the rest of the industry is moving uh, right along with us. So for high performance computing, most people don't think that uh, you know power is that important as most people just focus on the actual performance or the uh, making the fastest system available. But as we're uh, reaching fundamental um, you know laws of physics bounds on our uh, process technology, uh, more focus is going to have to, is being put on uh, power density of these systems. And so we're taking a new look at the actual processor architecture to optimize for that. And so while we're designing our system and need to you know, get every percent uh, uh, of you know, power efficiency advantage, uh, constant analysis of those metrics uh, is critical for us to be able to release uh, the best chip possible. Joules allowed us to take from our first uh, RTL drop of our stable core and take real applications and benchmarks uh, and get very detailed power analysis information. Uh, and with that, be able to influence every single component of our core uh, and optimize that for energy efficiency. So with Joules, we were able to take RTL changes in you know, our main code base for our core and our full chip and be able to directly correlate that with power uh, usage very rapidly. And so with Joules, would give hierarchical, uh, detailed information for every single component of our core chip. And then uh, as we made changes in under an hour, we were able to directly see uh, how that influenced the power and performance of the full chip. When we compare that to what we had to do previously with power sign-off uh, verification, that takes on the order of days. Um, it's just a critical tool for us to be able to hit our goals. So the biggest thing we learned in using Joules compared to uh, other design techniques is that having the constant feedback of how much power individual components is using is invaluable in being able to make very quick design dis change decisions. Uh, being able to see that uh, a multiplier is taking up way more power going from one design one day to the next day uh, helps find bugs while also allowing us to focus on continuously improving that power metric day by day. So from installing Joules to actually getting power results out first was a process that only took about a day. Uh, from being able to fully integrate that our, our flow uh, from actual full core synthesis and then bringing that in was on the order of about a week but very simple um, setup that integrates with other Cadence tools.